Hello guys, here is Joshua and Rahul Vyas and you are watching Technopath Harvey. Uh, today we are going to uh, learn basic about dryers, air dryers and which type of dryers are dealing with the uh, industrial uh, uh, activities. And uh, here uh, you can see here in this screen, uh, this one is uh, actually a desiccant dryer model. Uh, there are two types of dryer used in uh, industry for the air drying purpose. One is refrigerant dryer and second one is desiccant dryer. Uh, so basic and simple phenomena are applied here with use of desiccant uh, molecular or desiccant balls are used in these two cylinders which are generally doing uh, just absorbing the uh, air moisture and uh, providing the dry air with uh, help of these desiccant uh, balls. So, uh, these two dryers are generally used and uh, today we are going to understand how the desiccant dryers are work. Uh, so this schematic diagram represents the basic thing of desiccant dryers, uh, not this uh, diagram uh, indicate the latest and advanced desiccant dryer, just to understand how desiccant dryer works. So. Uh, there are two cylinders or we can say the vessels are used uh, which are which both are filled with the desiccant and desiccant uh, balls uh, filled with desired uh, requirement by weight uh, so these two cylinders uh, are uh, uh, filled with the desiccant balls and upward portion is always uh, we can say the air outlet portion and downward portion is we can say uh, air inlet portion so you can see here okay you can see here this one and this one both are mufflers and uh, this uh, square indicates are valves okay so they are uh, pneumatic or we can say uh, in small desiccant dryer uh, the solenoid valves are used uh, so here is uh, when the cylinder is drying air so that cylinder is called a online cylinder or the processing cylinder and the another one is we can uh, called as uh, offline cylinder and regeneration cylinder so here this uh, right uh, cylinder is processing for the uh, air drying air drying processes are happen here so the compressed moist air coming from the compressor is coming inward throughout this inlet section and there are two valves which the left cylinder valve is closed and uh, right cylinder valve is open so the air can move upward portion from the bottom of the cylinder to top of the cylinder uh, uh, with uh, <coughs> passing th this air throughout the molecule or the balls of the desiccant and the desiccant have the property to absorb air, uh, air moisture. Uh, so the air is passing throughout this section and continuously from bottom to upward it get dry and uh, the air moisture is absorbed by the desiccant, desiccant molecules and uh, then the dry air is coming out from the top portion outlet line and you can see here this valve is open actually uh, this valve is open and the air is uh, coming from this outline section and very dry compressed air is outlet uh, we get and that you can see here this valve is closed so now this dry air is not moving this side and uh, you can see here also one small uh, orifice line or we can see the uh, line which flow the small amount of, of air flow towards this offline cylinder or regenerative cylinder uh, so it is used because of the uh, because of regeneration process we should uh, we should get here because the continuous cycle we we need to continuous cycle for the continuous uh, 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 getting the dry air from the outlet section so ultimately these two cylinder is uh, uh, by uh, one by one uh, uh, processing the drying of the air and so the, when this cylinder is active for the drying air, this one cylinder is degenerate, uh, de, uh, moisturization or the uh, regeneration process. Why? 
why once this uh, if uh, this cylinder is uh, processing the uh, air drying and uh, absorb the all air moisture to uh, desiccant molecules so ultimately these desiccant are saturated with the water vapor uh, or uh, means uh, air moisture so uh, uh, if these uh, desiccant are saturated then uh, upcoming uh, wet uh, wet compressed air cannot uh, uh, get dry because of these uh, all desiccant are already saturated so uh, here we need to regeneration process are uh, in the, uh, uh, interact interact with this second cylinder so uh, uh, at that time here the small amount or uh, we can uh, control this amount of air with help of orifice orifice, uh, orifice plate and uh, the air is going downward portion and degenerately repress uh, uh, means pressing the desiccant and removing the moisture of absorbed uh, which uh, absorbed by the desiccant uh, which uh, means uh, here the moisture which is absorbed by the desiccant are uh, released with help of this dry air pressing this and uh, uh, here the muffler actually this is muffler and uh, muffler is uh, uh, removing the moisture towards uh, the atmosphere and moisture air exhausted to atmosphere throughout the silencer or muffler the moist uh, compressed air uh, uh, inlet you can see here but uh, these, these both are a muffler or silencer so once the this entire once this entire uh, cycle is completed, uh, then the second cylinder is become a uh, drying uh, online cylinder, which are uh, following this entire uh, entire system uh, again with this cylinder and uh, right cylinder is following uh, entire process of this uh, offline cylinder, which uh, before happens here. So ultimately this uh, cylinder now in figure is uh, uh, happening here is the regeneration because and uh, after the regeneration process is done this all desiccant molecules are get dried and uh, uh, and uh, it can be it can be uh, again for uh, use for uh, drying purpose and regeneration is done after uh, we can use it uh, as a uh, uh, absorbing the moisture or the desiccant uh, simply basic phenomena uh, i have explained you here how the desiccant dryer work I, I, here it is a basic structure not an advanced uh, in advance there are a lot of mufflers and we can uh, apply the similar parallel uh, uh, more, more cylinders and uh, uh, in the desiccant ball there are a, uh, solid desiccant are used also so uh, this things are happen here and i hope you get uh, get the what happened here during the drying process uh, these solenoid valves or pneumatic valves are controlled with the panel and programming section there are steps uh, from 1 to uh, raised to 10, 10 steps maybe or 15 or 16 steps are there to complete this both cycle and continuously one by one once deliver the dryer this cylinder and then cylinder so uh, means uh, double stage we can say continuously we are getting the dry air so i hope you get uh, this uh, basic terminology how the desiccant dryer works and uh, uh, our upcoming uh, new tutorial uh, we will going to uh, share uh, about the refrigerant dryer how the refrigerant dryer works friends i hope aapko ye video acha laga hoga to friends is video ko ho sake utna share kijiye aur iski jankari har ek user ko milni chahiye is video ko like kar dijiyega aur hamare youtube channel technopath arvi ko subscribe kar dijiyega सब्सक्राइब करने के बाद बेल आइकन दबा लीजिएगा जिससे आपको हमारे वीडियोस की आने वाली नोटिफिकेशन आपके मोबाइल में तुरंत ही मिलती रहे फ्रेंड्स स्क्रीन में दिखाए गए हमारे चैनल के लोगो को क्लिक करके आप इजीली हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नोपाथ हार्वी को सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हैं फ्रेंड्स 